I don't eat leftovers for dinner, then I can have the leftovers for dinner instead of lunch. I don't know. Anyways, welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how I've invested or five ways I've invested um, in my 20s, invested my money in my 20s. And I know you all like the vlog kind of style content. So what I've been trying to do is to have like searchable content like, you know, five ways to invest your money in your 20s or whatever this title is going to be, but showing a little bit of my personality and my day to day, especially since the weather's starting to break. All right, so since today is over 50 degrees, I'm actually about to walk to Subway and get a little sunlight so it can energize me to crush it today. because these make drinking water so much better. But I went with this like, I forget the name of it, but this is Draymond Green's choice of sandwich. Um, not the biggest Draymond Green fan <laughs> or anything like that, but uh, his sandwich actually looked pretty good. I did a poll and I saw that you all were interested in you know, investing. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video talking about my experiences investing my money. I'm a front end developer and also a content creator on YouTube for those of you all who don't know. So if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. it helps out with the algorithm a lot. One, it'll push this video to other people who may be interested in watching this kind of content. Also, it lets me know as a creator if you like this video and want to see more content like this. And I want to make sure that I am making videos that you all like. So also subscribe to the channel to watch more content like this and become a part of this amazing community. So I definitely um, didn't grow up talking about like investing in terms of like, you know, investing in like 401ks, Roth IRAs and stocks, you know, I come from a single household and that really wasn't at the top of our list. So I will say that I'm very fortunate to be able to have an experience or have experiences uh, investing my money and to be able to do that and to make this video. So I'm very blessed and fortunate. So I definitely wanted to say that in this video, the main purpose, the main purpose of this video is to share my experiences along with, you know, giving some advice that I think is beneficial. Um, I'm also going to talk about some of my mistakes. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a like, you know, five reasons or five mistakes to avoid in your 20s, some sort of video like that. I think those are really beneficial. I definitely watch them and I think we all have some sort of uh, experience that we've had that we regret in terms of either investing our money or just spending our money poorly. First thing that I would recommend is to take advantage of your employer's 401k benefit. If you aren't familiar with a 401k, a 401k is a retirement plan that's also a tax advantage retirement plan where you can contribute to it directly from your paycheck pre-tax. When I first started working, like fresh out of college, 22 years old, I didn't really take advantage of that 401k opportunity. I invested a little bit of money. And the reason being is because I wanted to have like the largest paycheck possible. So fast forward, you know, months later, I don't know what prompted me to do this, but I like found some sort of like calculator that showed me how much money my paychecks would be based on how much I contributed to my 401k to basically see if there was a major difference between like investing 3% into my 401k compared to like my max contribution that my employer would match, which was 12%. And I'll get into that in a second if that's confusing or you're not familiar with that kind of like ter terminology. So basically, I quickly came to the realization that I was screwing myself over by not investing um, or not contributing to the max 401k that my employer matches. The reason being is because if you're trying to save your money and you're putting it all in a savings account, that's only going to yield, at least my account, 
was only yielding like 0.01%, whereas a 401k yields significantly more. On top of the fact that my employer matched up to half of 12%. So basically, if I contribute 4%, my employer matches 2%. If I contribute 10%, my employer matches 5%. And then if I contribute to the max, which is 12%, they will match me at 6%. So that's literally free money that I'm getting from my employer. So I'm glad I did it because listen, compound interest is a thing. So my 401k goal right now is to invest enough money um, or at least enough money to have, you know, around 100k by a little bit earlier than like age 30. Next thing is I know that some of you all may not be able to invest into a 401k right now. So the next thing I want to talk about is investing into the stock market. And for example, I have used Robinhood. For one, I've learned from my mistakes of not holding when it comes to the stock market. To give you an example, I invested in one share of Ethereum in mid November. It was like $465, that's all it cost me. And then for some reason I pulled out, I started losing some money and I was like, oh, okay, I'll do this later. Cause I typically like to be pretty organized with my investing. Like, okay, I wanna have X amount of dollars here and there with no credit card debt, for example, that's when I'll start investing my money. But like three months later, um, when I re reinvested in Ethereum, um, Ethereum went from $465 a share to like maybe $1,100 a share, $1,200 a share, which is almost like 300% increase. So if I would have just held and just, you know, dealt with the ebbs and flows of the stock market, especially cryptocurrency, your boy would have made an extra like $800. Luckily, I did reinvest in Ethereum over a month ago and have, um, it's been growing. I think it's gonna continue to grow, at least I hope so. Praying to God that Ethereum hits 10K. But Ethereum isn't the only thing I invest in. I also invest a little bit in the Bitcoin along with a few other stock. So that leads me into the third recommendation that I have, which is to experiment. As a computer science grad, and you know engineer we did a lot of experiments and experiments are how you figure whether or not something works out i don't like to just listen to what everyone else has to say because we all have different experiences we're all in different situations i like to experiment for myself and to figure out what works best for me in life with robin hood and stocks i'm really just experimenting i don't invest a ton of money i invest about 10 percent of my total portfolio one thing that i realized is that it doesn't make sense to have over six months of emergency fund just sitting in a savings account, at least not for me right now, with a stable job and passive income. It, it makes more sense to either invest that in a 401k, Roth IRA, or put that money into stocks. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been great investing in cryptocurrency and learning more about like investing in stocks and just the overall market. It's been great, especially when you see that you're actually yielding returns. So now I basically invest in um, any money that I'm not using for debt. So if it's not going to my student loans or my credit card debt, then it's gonna be going into my 401k or into stocks. So like the past year, I'd say I started investing in a Roth IRA. It really benefits you when you're young, especially when you're not in that crazy high 35, 30% tax bracket. And for those of you all who aren't familiar with a Roth IRA, it is similar to a 401k, it's a retirement account. However, it provides tax-free growth and withdrawals. However, you do have to pay taxes to that amount you contribute to from your paycheck, and that's where that not being in a super high tax bracket can really benefit you. As of right now, you can contribute to up to $6,000, I'm pretty sure, if you're under the age of 50 years old. The huge benefit of a Roth IRA is that your money grows tax-free. I know it's a pain because you're contributing to it directly from your paycheck, you know, and it's taxed like off rip. You have to be patient and you're playing the long game. With 401ks, the benefit is, hey, you're not being taxed you know, from your paycheck when you're contributing to it, but your withdrawal is gonna be taxed and you get like a 10% penalty um, if you pull out your 401k early. Make sure that you research these things on your own. 
for sure the percentage of money that they're going to take out of your 401k when you're eligible to take that money out is going to be different based on your tax bracket so let's say you're in the 24 percent tax bracket and you have a million dollars at age like 55 or 60 and you want to withdraw that they're going to take 24 percent of that which is 240 thousand dollars so long term taking you know 20 percent out of five percent from your paycheck by putting it in a roth ira early and being able to withdraw it with no tax penalty is significantly better than taking a huge chunk out of your 401k where you be where you thought you were a millionaire and now you're not the fifth the fifth tip that i want to share with you is to just take risks taking risks is something that is really important in life whether it's taking a new job, taking a new role, or investing money. Risk can help you in the long haul, but if you don't take any risks, um, they'll end up hurting you uh, long term for sure. For example, I would have never known the power of investing into the stock market if I would have never pulled out and lost money in the beginning. But then I realized that, wow, this stock, this share went from $465 to $1,200 in a matter of three months. And if I would have just held, I would have actually profited 300%. Also remember there are ebbs and flows with the stock market, especially when you're investing in tech, you know, like, you know, Tesla, or you're investing in some, you know, new innovative electric car company, and of course, cryptocurrency. And last but not least, investing in your 20s is a huge benefit take advantage of that you know time is money and time goes faster and faster it seems like as you get older especially as you have more responsibilities and find yourself spending money on things you didn't have to spend money on when you were in your 20s since you're in your 20s you have the ability to invest and see that money grow um, long term which is a huge benefit and take advantage of that so that concludes this video. I hope this was helpful. This is my first time doing an investing video. I'm not an expert. I'm a developer, not an investment banker, but I'm learning along the way. I'm reading this book where it talks about being an amateur and sharing things when you're an amateur. So that's basically what I'm doing. I hope this was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all or wanna see more content like this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it if you all can become a part of this community. Hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.